This is how you switch from Siri to Google Assistant with a double tap or triple tap on the back on your iPhone. The first step is to download Google Assistant on your iPhone through the Apple Play Store. After you have downloaded it through the Apple Play Store, make sure you log in with your account that's connected with your smart home devices. Step two, download Apple Shortcuts if you hadn't already. And step three, if you are in the Apple Shortcuts app right now, now you have to click on this plus sign on the very top right, and you'll see that there's the word add action. So what you wanna do is tap on it. Once you tap on it here in the search bar where it says search for apps and actions, go ahead and type in open app. Now you will see here in scripting, it will say open app. You would wanna click on that. Now it's not enabled yet. So if you click on this little icon on the bottom right, as you can see, it says open app failed because it couldn't find an app to open. So in order to link Google Assistant, you would go to where it says the word app. Once you are on it, you see all of your apps installed on your phone. So what you want to just type in on the top is A-S-S-I-S-T-I-T-A-N-T. -S 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 and it will show up Google Assistant. So just go ahead and click on that. And to test it out, well, you got to add a name. So step number four, five, step number four or five. You want to go here at the top and give it a little name. So I'll just name this test, and I can't spell today, test. And now you have to click on the bottom right to make sure that it's actually working. So if I click on this, it should automatically send me to here, and boom, we are in a Google Assistant app. So go ahead, let's go back. So I have to just, what I have to do is go up and move over, and that's how it works. So now that it's working, click on the word done, step number, five or six, I can't keep count, just on whatever on the screen. So once you click on done, now go to your settings. So here in the settings app, we have it loaded up. Now scroll down until it says accessibility between wallpaper and home screen and app library. So we'll click on that. So we have all these options here. So what you wanna do is click on touch. Now scroll all the way down and you'll see back tap. Currently it's turned off. So we'll click that on. And whether you want to double tap it or triple tap it to like enable Google Assistant, you can add it right here. So right here, I'll just put it in double tap. It says none. And you would click on accessibility shortcut. And down here in accessibility, so you have to click on accessibility shortcut, then scroll all the way down and you'll see accessibility. And it's all these other options. You'll see, whoa, my phone's acting weird. You'll see all of those scroll gestures and shortcuts. So here in shortcuts, what you want to select next is whatever you name it. So I named it test. So right here in test, it's now enabled. So if I just double tap on the back of my phone, it should go straight to Google Assistant. Boom, it's working. There you go. If you want me to cover more things about smart home technology, please subscribe and let me know in the comments down below if you want more features about this or any other features because I'm always confused whether you want this type, these types of videos or something else. So please just let me know in the comments down below. That would help me a lot, especially because I'm like so busy. So that would help me a lot. Please, please and thank you.